Gold Technical Analysis, September 12th, FXEmpire.com. The Friday session um, in the U.S. and European sessions especially, sell traders selling off anything that basically didn't move. The gold market did suffer as a result, as you can see we did drop, but there was buying later in the U.S. session. This is uh, quite often the result of forced liquidation. In a highly leveraged fund, which most hedge funds are these days, what happens in a meltdown like we've had in the stock market is they start receiving margin calls or just start piling up the losses. So a lot of times what they'll do is they'll sell their winners, and gold, let's face it, has been a winner pretty much any time you bought it, if you just gave it enough time. And they'll sell their winners to cover the losses or the margin calls that are being uh, happening in other markets. As such, it appears that's what happened today because later in the session you had a massive buyback and we have now printed a hammer just above the $1,800 mark. Very bullish, um, but what I would suggest is if we get a break of the high, we probably or the high of the Friday uh, high, we probably will break the highs as well. But what I would suggest is, is if you do feel the need to buy gold in this wild market, you should be able to place your stops wide enough in order to do it. So, for example, if you have a smaller account but you have the access to CFDs, then perhaps you should be trading in CFDs and not the actual futures market. If you have the, uh, if you have access to maybe just uh, ETFs that trade in gold, such as GLD, that might be a suitable alternative as well, as the market is very comfortable with swinging $50 in a day, and in the futures market, that is a lot of equity to be losing in one 24-hour period. But having said all that, it is a bull market, and it does look like we're about to blow right through 1900. It's just a matter of when. Are we going to have a vicious pullback and then ha have it go, or what? A break above 1920 pretty much clears the way for the 2000 mark and uh, we would expect significant resistance at 2000 being just such a large psychologically important number.